Azure repos. In this section, I will be covering what Azure repos are, the importance of having this tool, and how to store your code within Azure repos in three different ways. So Azure Repos stands for Azure Repository, and it is a service that is provided within Azure DevOps. It's essentially like a container, a container where you can store your project's code and manage this code over time through the use of version control. So in other words, if your team member or yourself makes changes to this code, over time, it will all be tracked within Azure repos. So why do we need this? A great way to understand this would be through an example. So you created this amazing piece of code and you have it stored locally on your laptop and you have shared this via email, your original copy of the code to your team members. Now, some of your team members are very eager to make new features to add to your original code. However, the issue here is that they are all working par in parallel. However, they are all working against the original copy. Therefore, if one team member pushes their code manually by just emailing it over to the original uh, developer, then Another team member who has another idea of another feature would not be able to easily test whether their feature would have any conflicts, any issues with the original, uh, sorry, the new piece of code. So how do we solve this? This is where Azure Repos comes into play. So the developer will st would store their code on two Azure repos, and this would be accessible given the developer gives access to his team members so that they can access the copy of the code that is held centrally on um, one server. Now, every time the team members are to make a change to the code, another team member or any of the team members really would be able to access the new uh, version of this code hence version control is the key feature within azure repos in this third part of this section i am now going to show you how to create a new repository within azure repos and update files via the GUI and also CLI. I will also show you how to import uh, your code if you already have this stored on perhaps GitHub. So how would you import this onto Azure repos? I will show you now. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is head over to Azure DevOps. And as you can see, I already have two existing projects. So I am going to create a new project and I am going to call it Azure Repos. And I'm going to make a private repository and over here if you click on advanced you will see uh, a section that says version control. If you click on the drop down, you have the option to either click on Git or Team Foundation version control. However, I am use I want to use Git, so I am going to select Git, as that is uh, very common to use. Okay, so now. Azure DevOps is creating my project, and if I head over to the left uh, on this panel, you will see a section that says repos. So if I click on this, and by default, it creates a repository called Azure Repos, which is the name of your project. So if I was to click on manage repositories, you will see um, a section that says Azure Repos. So what I am going to do is click on Azure Repos and click on Browse. 
Now, what I am planning to do is add a readme file. So how you could do this is one way would be through the GUI. So if I just at the bottom of my screen where it says add a readme, if I click on initialize, it will add this file to my repository. So now you can see I have a readme and a great way to also verify this because it's version control would be to click on commits on the left and you can see that the first commit would be adding a readme file. So if I now go on to files and if I go over to clone and if I copy this HTTPS uh, URL and I head over to Visual Studio's code. And if I head over to a directory, so I have a directory, an empty directory that I have created called AZ repo. And if I type git initialize, so git init, initialize the repository. And if I run git clone and add in the URL, you will see now that on the left, I have my readme. So what I am going to show you quickly now is how to now add a file to this repository, but via CLI. So how do you do this? Well, first I'm going to make myself a file by right clicking new file, and I'm going to call it main.tf as I'm working with Terraform. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to run a git status. And as you can see, there is a new file that we need to add within this folder. So if I change directories within Azure repos and I run git status again, you will see there is a main.tf file that I would need to uh, add to this repository well, push it. So how do I do this? Okay, so I would run git av main.tf and then if I run git status, you will see that it is in green. Now I'm going to run a git commit, which was what you saw uh, with the readme file. And I am going to add a message adding the main.tf file. The last, uh, the last step would be to push this. So if I run a git push origin and main, because this is main, it has now pushed this to our repository. So if I head over to Azure DevOps and I hit refresh, you will see now that there is a main.tf file so if I go into commits, you will see that here as well. Another way to import code would be through uh, an existing repository that you may have on a different tool, such as GitHub. So if you go over to the top where it says Azure repos and you scroll down, there is a section that says import repository. So if you click on this and you head over to GitHub, where your project code is and you click on this section code and you copy the URL the HTTPS URL again but this time on GitHub and you head over to Azure DevOps and type this within clone URL and as you can see, it's given you this uh, name, which comes from the actual project name on GitHub. However, you could change this. So I might just change this to TF tutorial. And if I click on import, you can see now that it is importing this from GitHub onto Azure repos which won't take a while, as you can see, import successful. So now if I go and click on, um, well, there are two ways, manage repositories, you'll see that we have two repositories now within our project, which is great. And if I click on TF tutorial, which was the repository that we just imported from GitHub, 
you will and click on browse you will see all of our amazing files that are now present so this would be two ways that you can uh, create repositories and this is this would be three different ways actually to add files so if you another way to add files into your repository would be to click on this section more actions and if you click on new file you will be able to add a new file variables.tf create and if you click on commit you will now see that the file is there and your commits are all displayed within the commit section on the left.